Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today looking at another beer that I brought back from NBCC that I got from the guys at Servizium. So the guys from Servizium was there participating as guests at NBCC, hanging out and drinking awesome beer as yours truly. And I met up with them, we had some beers, we had some talks. And it was cool to meet Alan and uh, Martin in real life. And they were kind enough to bring some beers for me to bring back home. And this is one of those two beers. And this is their newly released New England Double IPA, Scapism. It's about four weeks old as of recording this review, which is pretty good, quite fresh. And uh, that is a pretty badass label. I mean, the Savizia labels are on point. This is apparently a, a type of torture. Scapism is apparently was a, so it's a way of torturing people in ancient Persia. And uh, that involved people being drenched in milk and honey and set off to sea. So, or probably drowned, I'd imagine. It was, I, mean, I mean, that dude there looks pretty drowned in honey. It's flowing out everywhere. Um, but they, inspired by that, they made a double IPA brewed with lactose and honey. And then also uh, barley malt, of course, flaked oats and wheat malt. It's 8% and this beer has been hopped with Amarillo, Mosaic and Citra. So this will be fun to try. It's been a while since I had a hoppy beer from Servizium. I think the last one I had was Jungle Juice, which was nice. So yeah, we got it poured and that is Haze the Days. It's a nice, hazy, lightly golden or It's kind of like a honey as color, isn't it? <laughs> honey golden color. Not much head, but you can generate some on there. It's Got a little bit of a nice film, but it looks nice in the glass. Let's check out the aroma. Oh, it's really dank, actually. I didn't expect that. And lots of citrus. I'm getting a bit of a sweet lactose-y thing, but it's not crazy. Like, really sweet citrus-oriented but and dank. But citrus can go dank sometimes, and so can mosaic. Doesn't really... I'm not picking up on the blueberry now, but I'm really picking up loads of mandarin orange. Yeah, loads of it. And it has some bready maltiness as well. But yeah, quite dank. Maybe a hint of a stone fruit character and maybe a bit of melon. Mostly actually stone fruit maybe. Quite fleshy and juicy smelling. Yeah, and then yeah, it has that underlying kind of sweetness that I think is lactose. But that smells quite nice. And then, well, I don't know. It has a bit of a green... Slightly green hop matter note, but it's not a lot. I sometimes get that with New England IPAs, especially when they're fresh, but I, like this is not, well, four weeks is still quite good, but um, I think some of them when they're really fresh, they can be quite harsh on that, but it smells quite nice. It smells like a nice New England double IPA. So let's give it a taste guys. Cheers and thanks to the guys from Servizium for the beer. That is quite nice. The lactose definitely shows. I mean, it definitely gives body, but it gives some sweetness. Actually, it, it's interesting. I think, I think sometimes with these New England IPAs, boosted sweetness from like lactose or um, like just, I don't know, malt. Just like a bit of malt sweetness. Like if you, if you don't ferment it down to like, you know, super low gravity. That sweetness helps amplify some juiciness because it seems much more juicy than I remember from other Savizian beers. This is really nice. Juicy, loads of juicy orange and sweet citrus fruits. Stone fruits are there. It's a bit more dank on the aroma than flavor, but it's definitely got some dankness as well. Sweet tropical fruits, mango, papaya type notes. No bitterness, pretty much. Whatsoever, it's super drinkable. Mm, it's quite nice. And then lactose leaves that sweetness and super coating, slick mouthfeel, slightly fizzy, but not too bad. Mm. No, that's not that's not fizzy at all, really. That, I don't know. This is the first few sips, I thought it was a bit fizzy. Also getting a bit of almost a grape character, and I'm also definitely getting like a bit of pineapple on that sip there. Sweetness is not too crazy, which is quite nice. It's balanced. Sometimes when you get these lactose IBAs, it's, you know, they can be a bit sweet, but it, it definitely got some sweetness, but it's quite balanced by the hops, and it really helps build some mouthfeel on the beer. This is quite nice. It's one of the nicer IPAs I've had in a while from Norway. 
Um, but I think it's also the only IPA I've had in a while from Norway, but it's quite nice. Hmm. The guys at Cervizium is just making very, very good beers and the prices on these as well are very good. I haven't seen this anywhere in Denmark so far, but or web shops and whatnot around Europe, but it should be available soon. I mean, you can probably get this in Norway as we're speaking here, uh, but very nice stuff. Not like a mind-blowing New England IPA, but very nice, super drinkable, quite juicy uh, New England, well, double IPA. So rating-wise for Escape Hiss and Bias of Reason, I'm gonna go 92. Quite nice double IPA, juicy, refreshing, mouth coating stuff if that's what you're looking for in a double ipa that's what you're going to get with this so if you guys had a chance to try the cervesium scapism new england double ipa brewed with honey and lactose let me know what you thought of it the honey doesn't play too much and i think that's just pretty much to give it some dryness because you have all the uh, all the lactose you know to to you know sweeten it and the honey will ferment down so usually that will give some dryness to the beer but yeah nice stuff guys so as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want to say cheers and see you guys in another video.